Is the Lefit S1 Pro underwater scooter really worth its money? That's the question that I will try to help you find the answer to in today's review video. Coming up. Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's great to see all your smiling faces again. During the last two weeks, I have been testing the Lefit S1 Pro quite extensively, particularly during our underwater videography workshop that we held in Bonaire Island. Now the workshop itself has been a huge success and I can't wait to share the trip video with all of you guys here on the channel. We're still sorting uh, through the footage or looking through the footage um, and putting the video together. So it's still gonna take a few more weeks until this is ready. But once it is ready, it will be published right here on the channel. And if you don't wanna miss out on seeing that video and hearing what the participants had to say about the workshop and what they learned during that underwater videography workshop, actually the first one of its kind in that way, um, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when that video gets uh, published here on the channel. Now, let's talk about today's review and the uh, Lefit S1 Pro, this tiny little underwater scooter. It is actually the smallest underwater scooter on the market to date. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about my experiences that I've had with this scooter using it on our dives on Bonaire Island. If you're interested in learning more about the components the S1 Pro comes with, how to set it up and all that sort of stuff, I recommend you watch my unboxing video that I recently published here on the channel. It will be linked up here somewhere and obviously down in the video description below as well. So once you've finished watching this video, hop over to that one and get some more information, some basic information on the Lefit S1 Pro. But let's get back to today's review video and the things that we want to talk about today, which are the things that I liked and the things that I did not like so much about the Lefit S1 Pro underwater scooter. Now, when I picked this unit up for the very first time, as I was doing my unboxing video here in Zurich a few weeks ago, I was a little skeptical whether or not this unit would be capable enough, strong enough to pull me through the water when I was having my entire um, scuba equipment on me. Now this skepticism disappeared fairly quickly when I had the unit with me on my first dive and uh, I pulled down on the throttle and the thing just started pulling me through the water like it was nothing. I was very surprised how powerful, how strong the Lefit S1 Pro is um, and how much fun it actually is to be using it underwater. Now, the Lefit S1 Pro comes with three different power settings and these power settings are very easily changeable. Uh, you can change it either on the main unit by pulling down on the switch um, or you can also use the remote control and by just pulling on the little lever you can change the power settings and this is absolutely fantastic because it means that you don't have to let go of the handles of the unit as you're using it underwater and you can change the power levels as you're actually using the unit. You don't have to stop, change the power level and then start using it again. And this is very, very convenient and a really cool thing to have. Now, I personally would recommend to use it on power level one for most of the time because it is a power level that is strong enough to pull you through the water without any problems as long as there is no current. Um, and it's also the power level that is going to conserve the battery the most. So using it on that power level one, you will have enough battery power to last you for an entire dive. If you start using it on power level two or even power level three, 
there is a fair chance that the power or the battery uh, will run out before the end of your dive if you use it uh, pretty much constantly. So if you do want to use it on one of the higher power levels, I recommend that you're only going to be using it for sort of shorter periods of time and then just stop again or put it back to power level one because that's, as I said, the one that is going to be most conservative when it comes to the battery use, obviously. The S1 Pro is strong enough to work against a slight current. I would probably say if you can fin against the current, the S1 Pro will be capable of uh, working against that current as well, in particular in power level two or power level three. Um, but be aware that you're gonna be draining your battery much quicker that way. Other things that I really like about the Lefit S1 Pro is obviously its size and weight. I mean, look at this thing. It is absolutely tiny. You cannot tell me that you won't have any space to fit this into a backpack um, or your suitcase when you go on your next scuba vacation. Even we managed to do this on our trip uh, to Bonaire Island. And trust me, we had a ton of other gear with us but we still had space to bring our um, Lefit S1 Pro with us. Now I've just put it on a scale before we started this video here and uh, I was surprised to find out that it's only three kilos. So it's six pounds of extra weight that you're bringing with you with all the accessories that you need to make it run. Um, and I think that's well worth the extra uh, kilos or pounds that you're bringing with you to have that extra level of fun and excitement with you for your next scuba vacation. So that's definitely a big, big plus and one thing that I really like. And compared to other scooters that I know and that I have been using in the past, um, this is just so much more convenient and uh, I'm thinking that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be bringing this unit, the Lefit S1 Pro, pretty much on any single dive trip that I'll be going to in the future because as I said, it's a lot of fun and you don't really have to sacrifice a lot of space and weight in your luggage to be able to bring that with you. I was also very pleasantly surprised about the ease of use of the Lefit S1 Pro. It is incredible how easily and intuitively this unit can be used by pretty much anyone. Whether you're a snorkeler skin diver, a scuba diver, whether you've had experiences with underwater scooters in the past or not, um, you can just pick it up and start using it without any issues uh, right away. I would strongly recommend to take some time at the very beginning and uh, get accustomed with the unit in shallow water first. Just play around with it uh, in like a couple of meters of water for the first half an hour or so, getting used to how the unit behaves underwater to the different power levels, all that sort of stuff before you then take it down uh, to a deeper depth. And always be careful about depth changes. Make sure that you go nice and slow when you go deeper down so you have enough time to equalize your ears. And also as you come back up, make sure that you stay within that safe ascending um, speed so you're not uh, putting yourself at a risk of getting the compression sickness or lung overexpansion injury. One thing that I particularly liked about the Lefit S1 Pro is that it has a attachment for an action camera right at the front of the unit here. So you can attach, for example, your GoPro to the front of the unit just like this, and then you can use uh, you can use the unit to pull your GoPro through the water with you as you're gliding over the coral reef and filming it. And this is really, really useful. I didn't think it was gonna be this useful, but having your GoPro on that unit and having that uh, very constant pull over the reef, you're gonna get some really cinematic looking nice images out of your unit. Now the thing is that the GoPro itself already has some stunning image stabilization built into it, but having put it on a scooter like this and having the scooter pull the GoPro, the camera through the water, the imagery is gonna be even more stable. You're gonna get a constant speed and the images just look incredible in my opinion. Having the attachment for the GoPro also means that I can have my GoPro with me whenever I take the um, unit out for a spin. And if I see something interesting, it is a matter of a couple of uh, moments really to just bring the GoPro up, 
press the record button and I'm already recording. And it doesn't have to be while the scooter is running. Because the scooter has a certain weight and stability to it, I can also use it as kind of a, uh, of a tray for my action camera. So having my GoPro on here, having pressed record, I'm recording now, I can move the camera in a much nicer way, much more stable way, even without the unit running, um, having the camera placed on the unit. And just by the weight of the unit, giving the entire system a lot more stability, the imagery that I can capture this way is gonna be a lot nicer, a lot more stable, and with a lot less of those micro jitters that you might get when you hold your action camera just simply in your hand. Now obviously we couldn't not try to put our big red Komodo on this unit and take it for a spin because as camera enthusiasts and underwater videographers we wanted to know whether or not this tiny thing is actually capable of pushing or pulling our our big red Komodo through the water, fully rigged out with a scuba diver behind the setup. And surprisingly, it did. And we didn't even have to go to like the highest output level. Most of the time, output level two was, was strong enough. Sometimes if there was no current whatsoever, we could even work with the output level, the power level one. It is incredible, in my opinion, that an underwater scooter of this size can actually pull a big cinema camera through the water. Um, and with just having that one scooter, obviously the battery was drained much quicker than what it would have been by just pulling a diver through the water. Because again, with all the lights and the, the weight and the size of the cinema um, rig underwater, we had a lot more drag and the scooter had to work quite a bit harder. But what we're going to be trying um, next is to put two of these units underneath our red Komodo setup um, so that we have double the power and hopefully double the endurance and uh, we can have the scooters run pretty much for an entire dive pulling the camera through the water. Now the big plus of having a scooter underneath your cinema camera is that the red Komodo um, different to the uh, GoPro cameras, the, the current GoPro Hero 10, the Red Komodo does not have any in-body stabilization built into the camera. Cinema cameras don't really have that. So you have to be a lot more careful with the movements that you do underwater. And uh, having that camera on the um, scooter and having the scooter actually control the movement through the water, it's just a lot more controlled than if I myself um, am finning through the water and trying to keep the camera as steady as I can. You can get some incredible footage and we've collected, we've only just tried it like once or twice, but we've collected some really cool shots with the red Komodo on the scooter. So I really can't wait to get my hands on that second unit of the Lefit S1 Pro. Um, put them together, that's also one of the big advantages of this unit, it is modular. You can put more than one unit together and you can still control it by just one remote control. So both units will react to one remote control, which is absolutely fantastic. Also, what you can do with these handles where the remote control is on, you can actually take these handles off and now I can place this handle, for example, next to the uh, handle of my um, red Komodo rig. So while I'm holding on to my red Komodo rig, I can at the same time also control the scooters that will be placed underneath um, the, um, the rig. And this makes it just incredible, easy, um, to use and very convenient. Uh, I imagine right now, I haven't tried it yet, but that's what I imagine. So this is something that we'll definitely try out in the next couple of weeks and we'll let you know once we have tried it out, how this worked. So let's move on to the things that I did not like quite as much about the um, Lefit S1 Pro. And honestly speaking, there wasn't many things I didn't like about this unit. 
One of them is probably that the unit is highly addictive. Um, once you've used it underwater, it is very tough to give it out of your hand and pass it on to someone else unless you have another unit you can go back to. Uh, but once you've used it and you've seen how much fun it is to uh, play with it underwater, to uh, take it on a dive, to have it with you, it is really tough to, you know, go for a dive without it afterwards. Um, so it's probably a good idea to have a spare unit with you um, or one um, extra when you go on a dive trip. And again, being such a small and lightweight unit, you could probably even bring two of these units with you on your next dive vacation. Another thing is that you do get lazy uh, because once you've done a couple of dives with this unit and then you pass it on to someone else and on the next dive you're going without the unit, you suddenly realize that you do have to use your fins and uh, fin yourself through the water. And that is uh, a bit odd after you've used it for a couple dives. Um, so that's something that I did not really like too much that I had to use my fins again after having passed it on to someone else. So let's come back to the initial question. Is the Lefit S1 Pro really worth the investment and the money that you're paying for this unit? Definitely yes, in my opinion. I think that this is an incredible, um, incredible tool. I don't think it's a toy. I really think it's a tool that you can use on your dives, whether you're an underwater filmmaker and you wanna get some more stable moving shots while uh, filming underwater or uh, being a uh, snorkeler skin diver or a regular scuba diver that just wants to add an extra level of fun to their underwater adventures this thing is worth its weight in gold in my opinion it is such a great tiny little tool um, that i can recommend this to pretty much anyone uh, who has uh, um, a connection to water and likes being in water and anyone who is a, a water enthusiast really Right now, Lefit is having a summer sale going on on their website. Um, I'll put the link down in the video description below, so feel free to go and check it out. They've put a couple of different packages together for you guys. Packages where if you get a single unit, you'll get some free accessories with it. If you get a dual unit, uh, you get a discount on uh, the entire package. There's a couple of different packages for different tastes. Feel free to go and check them out there. And maybe there is one of these packages that appeal to you and uh, you can pick up one of these uh, units at a discounted price and bring it with you on one of your next scuba diving adventures. And with that having said, we're getting to the end of today's review video. Hopefully this video was as always useful to you and you got something out of it. And if that's the case, please do not forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on future content that will be uploaded here. If you do have any other questions regarding the Lefit S1 Pro unit, feel free to place them down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you very much for your time and for watching guys. Enjoy your day and have fun capturing your underwater adventures. I will see you next week.